You might have heard about this up and coming Kronos ZK EVM blockchain, but we already have the Kronos EVM chain and the Kronos POS chain. So will ZK EVM replace the current Kronos chains? Well guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron, and I've been really researching ZK EVM lately for the Kronos chain. And even talking about this ZK EVM as the evolution of the old Kronos POS chain and the Kronos EVM chain. But also I do hear some other signals. Most notably, we had this interview by Oscar Ramos and Ken Timzit, the head of Kronos Labs. And he really explains what his vision is for Kronos ZK EVM as well as Kronos POS and Kronos EVM. So in this video, I want to share my key takeaways on Kronos ZK AVM and how you could act accordingly. But first, if you appreciate my research, do push that like button and subscribe for more ZK AVM related content. Having said that though, let's play a little clip over here. Kronos EVM, it has been our focus for the last uh, two, three years in terms of developing the ecosystem. Um, Kronos EVM will continue to exist, and um, you know, particular, you know, I, the way I see Kronos EVM is really that it's meant to be the safe and easy chain to uh, for, for most users and for mainstream users. the 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 short story is uh, that the developing the developer team conti is continuing to invest in Kronos EVM and adopt innovations coming from the world of of Cosmos chains. Um, and so over time, Kronos EVM will continue to be, you know, will become faster, cheaper as well, and will continue kind of will continue to be kind of the safe and accessible chain for most users. Uh, as for Kronos ZK EVM, I, I think Kronos ZK EVM is also because it's uh, it's built on a blank sheet of paper. It's also an opportunity to be a bit more experimental, uh, to deploy more sophisticated uh, DeFi use cases, uh, to to take a bit more risks with bridges and, and, and the way that we are uh, promoting um, applications that are more at the bleeding edge of innovation. So I, I think for DeFi and for advanced users, Kronos ZKVM is really going to be a great place to, to experiment. Uh, but again, uh, I think Kronos EVM will remain uh, a very strong chain and uh, will, it, it will continue to cater to most mainstream users in a way, you know, continuing on that, um, uh, on that positioning of the last three years, which is we want Kronos EVM to be to be Kronos EVM, sorry, we want Kronos EVM to be easy to access, uh, simple to understand, uh, and really you know, safe to use. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Kronos EVM will remain the mainstream chain, whereas Kronos ZK EVM that will be the advanced chain. I will put a link to the complete interview in the description down below. But I do think that what I've just shown you guys is the most important takeaway. But I also do want to show you guys my personal thoughts about this. I've been a member of the Crow Fam since 2019, and I was there when it originally launched the Crypto.org chain, or later called the Kronos POS chain, their layer zero. And of course, later they added their Kronos EVM blockchain. But both chains are based on the Cosmos SDK and use IBC bridges. So the vision of crypto.com has always been crypto in every wallet, and they have always been betting on a cross-chain future. So not only Ethereum, not only Sol, not only Kronos, basically one big interconnected future. And of course, Cosmos guys, that's exactly what they try to deliver with their technology. There's one unfortunate thing, and that is that Cosmos never really took off. Their technology is great, but their adoption is really shitty, I have to say. So this bet on Cosmos has not been really paying off. So this time around, they're trying it completely different. And they actually put that bet on a complete different beast. That's called Ethereum, or how Ken would call it. The 1,000 pound gorilla. And of course, guys, Ethereum is a complete different beast. It's been proven, it's secure. So of course, this is a more safe bet. And this time around, they're using the technology of Meta Labs or the Hyper Bridges by the ZK Sync team. So this time around, guys, of course, different tech bet, but of course, based on Ethereum, which in my opinion is also a better logical choice. 
Anyways, both technologies share the same common goal, and that's a cross-chain future. But there is still a big problem. Even though these two chains share the same common goal, they are still two chains. A chain with different liquidity, different users, different applications, and also, and I think very important, a different gas token. Kronos EVM is using the Kronos token, while ZK Crow is using the ZK token, ZK Crow. This problem is also a big concern for builders on the Kronos ecosystem, because of course the big question is, where will you continue to build? Is that on Kronos EVM or Kronos ZK EVM? And over here, I think it's best illustrated by Elder Carl with his announcement on the Push.Farm platform, which currently is operating on Kronos EVM. So in our opinion, one or two scenarios will play out. ZK doesn't take off and people do not migrate and stay on Crow in the long run. Or ZK becomes a preferred chain of operation, effectively shifting demand, volume and attention to the layer two. Basically, all the builders will come to this question. And when they decide to be active both on Kronos EVM as well as ZK EVM, they will have to share resources. So they can't really focus on one or the other. Of course, guys, we're still thinking the future is cross-chain. So is this really a big issue? I would say yes, because if you want to be part of this cross-chain future, you would like to actually be active on ZK EVM, because over there you can easily bridge to EVE, to ZK Sync Era or any other hyperchain. But in the same process, you will lose out on your current community, on the current Kronos EVM chain. This is quite the fine line. If you want to hear my honest opinion, I do think there's only one best outcome, and that is if we mainly migrate over to the Kronos ZK EVM chain. Looking guys over here at the ranking of the current Kronos chain, we are ranked as number 19. And that's not great, that's not great. We do not have that many active developers. We do not have many active users. Our total value locked is low over here. We are losing against Polygon, we're losing against Avalanche. And yes, I do think guys, we will leave behind some of the active old community and we will lose out on a bit of locked liquidity on the Kronos chain. But the perspective of bleeding edge technology, account abstraction, yield bearing assets, and also the idea that we can bridge over people basically from ZK Sync era easily to ZK Sync or ZK EVM over here. That is really compelling, I would say. With that in mind though, I do want to share also again the opinion of one of the builders over here on Kronos EVM. We can see either situation becoming a reality and so we need to prep and plan for both. If scenario one plays out, we need to make sure that we do not lay deep roots on ZK EVM while also making sure we are deploying the right things on ZK ASAP to ensure we capture early market demand for scenario two. If we were to place a bet, we think that ZK Crow turns out to be the chain of choice for operation simply based on early indicators on how Kronos Labs is approaching, but time will tell. And with this, I do agree. Right now, guys, we do see a lot of incentives to actually migrate over to ZK Crow. And I would recommend to also prepare for that situation. Make sure, guys, you get yourself some ZK Crow. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind you that this over here is the easiest way to secure yourself some nice ZK Crow by depositing it over here on the ZK EVM passage. And it works really easy. I've got a complete video in the top right corner, but simply over here, you put in the amount of Crow you want, and that will convert itself to ZK Crow. And if you want to support the channel as well, you can use my referral code over here by putting it in as a decimal, so 1144, and that will help the channel, so thank you very much. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really looking forward to all the bleeding edge tech on the hyperchain called ZK EVM. So guys, I am still super, super bullish and waiting for this all to play out. But okay, that's my opinion. Leave yours, please, in the comments down below. And if you like this kind of content, do hit the like button and subscribe for more. Well, that's me. I'm your one and only Coin Baron, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.